Hello folks, welcome to the Thursday forecast and let's get right into looking at the market. So first is the euro and the US dollar which has now had a push down. Um, so that is a good sign of some trending markets. Let me just move the lines. So here we have broken the most recent low. Now well, there was a flag opportunity and a combo trade opportunity right after this impulse. So maybe some people were seeing this push and then they were seeing this flag form or they were they were seeing this combo trade to the inside bar which would be the entry area. For me personally I stayed out of both trades because we got a huge wick and we got this aggressive. The first part of the retrace was not aggressive but then the second part we clearly got momentum here plus the prior price action was heavily range bound so I definitely was not interested in taking any sort of setups after this impulse because of all the all the reasons that I just uh, went through so yeah I didn't take any trades and after this push down what I'm looking for is I'm looking for that nice large momentum and then a clean flag or a break and retest trade like this I'm looking to sell but this can easily just retrace back and continue ranging so that is a possibility so what i need to see after this candle i need to see the next candle at, and how it forms does it actually continue with the overall downtrend so yeah that's about it for eu um let's see if this candle will, con will continue or retrace and of course if we start to descend then i will look for a reversal classic stuff and if we get a v reversal i will look for a range a push up and then to to buy buy on a nice flag so that's about it for eu um so for ej this one there was an opportunity to actually enter on a trade right here so for me personally there was a data change my most recent high was here most recent low was here um and this small candle let me show it to you so this candle right here was part of the trend. This red one was still part of the trend. That's why I was definitely not even looking for a setup at that point. I was waiting for a break of the high or the low. But then the data on trading view changed and we got a counter trend move here. Then we broke the low retraced. And then there was this opportunity to enter, which is now running in heavy profit. So that's definitely good for anyone who did enter on this particular trade. Um, so yeah, we broke the low retraced, broke the low again, but then got a clean close and got some momentum. So maybe some people were seeing this as an ascending structure. And then this trend to start to the downside like this. But for me personally, even if uh, my data was right from the beginning, so because of the data change, I wasn't even looking at anything at this trade. But even if my data was like this, I probably still wouldn't enter this trade because we broke with just one candle immediately retraced got almost no momentum here so got really really low momentum then we broke the low again and got just a one candle clean close so for me personally that was not enough even if I uh, had the good data um, but yeah maybe some people then placed a pending order right here got tagged in with the next candle and are now in heavy profit so um so yeah now it is running in some profit and let's see if this will continue so what i'm looking for at this point is i'm looking for a small pullback and then a nice break and retest like this that's sort of a setup or a nice flag nice quick flag like this so definitely also keeping my eye open like for that or if we start to descend i will look for a reversal to the upside like this we can also get a v reversal and then go to the upside then i will look to buy and yeah so ej does is known for pushing down and then reversing so yeah, i'm definitely looking if we maybe get that v reversal that is a possibility one thing to note tomorrow is nfp so i'm not trading tomorrow after the london open i'm only trading until uh, the london open on a friday um, let's see if we will get some setups by then. Um, I did, as I said, stay out of this one. So let's see how this price action develops. And also the prior price action was not that good for me personally. We had this range here and then we just started to ascend at the top. So for me personally, 
just was not seeing even a larger ascending, only this smaller ascending, so even this kind of looked to me like it was going from an ascending structure into a descending structure, so yeah, that definitely doesn't fit my plan because we usually get more range bound price action. Um, so that's about it what I can say for EJ. Oz US dollar, I was in a trade right here, so let me take it back actually with a 12 pip stop loss or with a 13 stop pip stop loss because now I usually place a pending order one pip above the entry area to get tagged in because uh, the spreads can sometimes widen and I do want to be tagged in in all of the trades so the new rule is one pip above or below the entry area to get to get tagged in in all of the setups so for, for this particular entry what I was seeing I was seeing a smaller descending I was seeing a larger descending as you can see here this was the larger descending right here and then we got this smaller one on the bottom I was seeing double wicks to the downside I was seeing a nice reversal candle clean close almost no wick on the top um, really good push went far away and this the size of this candle is very big compared to the prior candles so this is all slow momentum and then we had this nice reversal up so as you can see by the size of the candle <clears throat> if we just compare it just a second so if we just compare it to the other candles you can just see it's bigger than almost all of them which is a very good sign that the momentum has shifted to the upside so i saw no warning signs with this trade uh it was definitely a textbook no-brainer trade in my personal opinion decided to take it was happy to risk the one percent and i would definitely take it again unfortunately it did take me out so after it broke the high i did reduce my risk for 0.6 it it did take me out i think it was a 0.6 percent loss or something like that so unfortunately another losing one but this one definitely fit my plan and i would take it again it was the textbook textbook setup currently this is showing me a range because we broke the high reaches broke the high retraced broke the low retraced and now again broke the low and let's see if this will continue what i'm looking for is i'm looking for this to continue down so for this to continue down then give me a nice flag or maybe for it to give me a nice a nice break and retest like this and also i did start a new uh, ftmo challenge so 100,000 ftmo challenge uh this week and yeah so the first trade unfortunately was a losing one but what you're gonna do it happens so this is my fourth ftmo challenge i believe and i did pass two i did also uh i did fail one challenge so this would be my my fourth ftmo challenge let's see what happens uh, and as i said yeah look if this starts to maybe descend then know to look for a reversal to the upside like this or maybe we start to ascend then you just know we can get a larger range and in that in that particular case i would recommend just staying out of all of the trades also we can get some larger momentum up as a sort of a reversal from this overall descending structure if that happens i'll look for large large impulse and then i'll look to buy on a nice uptrend if we get that nice uptrend we need the confirmation of course and we need to see that large impulse <clears throat> um aj so uh, uh, aussie japanese yen there were no opportunities for me personally we're just stuck in a heavy range if, if someone was looking for a reversal at this particular point because they were seeing a descending structure for me personally this was not the descending this was just stuck in a range so not not interested in any of uh, these setups that happened in here uh and yeah i did stay out of this reversal trade which did keep keep me out of a one percent loss so that's good and i'm just waiting for a breakout out of this range of course we do have these liquidity areas below and above which we need to be really careful of so look how the price reacts does it tr uh, trend then you know to get in on the trend if you're a trend trader of course if you're trading the range trade this range so buy here sell on the top that's that's a very simple strategy or, or if you're a trend trader then also look if we just break and retrace that's a very very bad warning sign what you're looking for is you're looking for that nice large conviction 
without any wicks on the end of the impulses and you're looking for those clean closes and you're looking for those continuation candles so be careful with this one it's definitely heavily stuck in a range uh the pound the pound us dollar has been showing me this descending structure a really clean descending i have to say so i'm not taking any reversals on this one and i was not looking for a reversal from this descending to the upside i was just looking for some large momentum currently looks like some large momentum is starting so we have to see if this will continue i will probably not be taking something like this straight from the scandal i will look for maybe a nice small clean flag but i would most likely want to see more of a push and then a nice break and retest trade that would be the highest probability scenario for me personally so yeah i'm looking for this to continue and then give me that nice break and retest or give me a flag further down like this also we can get a v reversal like this look for range then look for a push up and then look to buy also on a nice flag or look for a nice break and retest we need to be really patient with this particular pair because it usually just uh, tends to be more range bound so we need to see that large large momentum with multiple candles in the impulse the last one new zealand japanese yen heavily stuck in range same as the aussie japanese yen it's kind of uh, a brother of Jap aussie japanese yen when they range they range when they trend they trend at the same time so this is definitely stuck in the overall wide flat range um again be careful of the liquidity areas below and above and we need to see what happens in these liquidity areas so do we get that large conviction or do we just break and retrace so be extremely patient with this one don't take any trades that happen in this overall area because it's just range bound what you're looking for is you're looking for a trend up or a trend down this is currently consolidating so usually we will get an expansion to the upside or an expansion to the downside that is it for the forecast um so yeah started the new challenge let's see how it develops tomorrow i'm not trading but still we'll be doing a trade recap so i will see you guys in the next video and be more patient with these AJ and New, and New Zealand Japanese yen pairs. The rest of the ones looks like they are developing. So my eyes are on uh, EJ and also GU. So that is it. I'll see you guys in the next one.